hi friends this is the fourth part of the video uh, series um, which I am uh, in which I am telling you about how to convert a strategy into an expert advisor and what I have done here I have completed the expert advisor um, and I have written all the code required to make uh, this expert advisor and now um, I'll explain explaining you the code right here and before that I uh, I wanted to tell you that I have changed um, the open cell stop function because it was not working perfectly so I have made certain variables uh, so I have uh, added some checks um, printed some error things and all all that crap I can't um, teach you and explain you this code because I uh, time is running out and uh, this expert advisor has taken longer than I have expected it and I have also written the buy stop function and I have changed certain um, some code in, in here and <coughs> I have uh, written it again because that buy stop function which I have told you previously was not working fine so I have made certain checks certain things in here to work it uh, properly now it works perfectly so <coughs> now what uh, where we were left where we were left in here we were having uh, an uh, if condition and the two functions inside it so what was the problem in here when the time equals the time to enter the trades and the order totals are less than the amount we have specified in there it opens a buy order and a sell stop order and it it keeps on placing that trade for an hour okay so what I mean um, by that I mean that if you were about to place uh, one buy and one sell stop order in this candle let's say it's the fourth candle for uh, let's suppose it's the fourth candle and what happens here let's say this is the candle okay what happens here it uh, keeps on placing one buy and one sell stop order uh, in this candle because uh, for whole 60 minutes uh, you have the same time equals 4 okay so the time is 4 and that's why it's it's uh, keep on placing trades sorry <coughs> it keeps on placing trades because uh, within this within these 60 minutes you can have hundreds of ticks arrivals and on each new tick arrival this uh, this will be uh, this condition will be true and this condition will be true and it will place one buy and one sell stop order until it reaches the eight total orders which are the maximum allowed limit in, in our case okay so what this if we left here it will place six orders uh, one buy and one sell stop then again one buy one sell stop it will mess up okay so what I did to solve this problem I, I placed uh, an if condition in here and what this condition does it it it's uh, it checks the total orders if they are zero that means if there are no if there are no single trade in here that means we are running this expert advisor for the first time so it will place a buy order and a sell stop order and that's all if there are zero total orders okay once it does that thing then there now you have two orders uh, on your trade window so the next on the neck on the next tick arrival this code will not be executed because there are no uh, there are two total orders right now so two does not equal zero so this condition will be false so the what next thing I did here uh, to solve the problem of uh, if we are if we are placing a trade if we have placed a buy trade and a one sell stop trade right right here 
and if that sell stop order becomes a market order uh, we have to place another uh, buy stop order right there okay so we have placed a buy order and a sell stop order sell stop order become a market order and we have placed a buy stop order right there say for example we have placed a buy stop order and it didn't become a market order uh, until that until that time so what we are having in here we have a buy order and a sell sell order in here and there are no pending orders there so how i um, solve this problem to place another buy stop order i solve this problem by counting the total number of pending orders and for that i have made a function in here which counts the total number of pending orders which i have written here how i written this function i call i made a variable call uh, and i have set it uh, i have set it value to zero and i, I use a loop which i trades uh, from zero to orders total and it selects one first order and it checks whether it's uh, pending or not engine and one little tip for you if order type is greater than op underscore cell that means the order is uh, is a pending order okay so it, it keeps on iterating from zero to from this order to down here if there are pending orders too if there are some pending orders it will come here 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 and here 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 okay so it will count all the pending orders and return that pending orders back to here with where it was called and it will assign that number to this variable count so what i did in here if count equals zero that means there are there are no pending orders at that time if there are no pending orders at at this time that means our market order or oh sorry our pending order has become our market order so it's time to place uh, it's time to place a pending order okay so what I did here I have selected the very last trade okay so in our case it's sell trade because suppose uh, this trade has not been placed yet so it's a sell trade and what we did here if the if the last select the last order which is uh, which is being selected by this uh, code right here if its type is buy then open a sell stop if its type is sell then open a buy stop and this code will will do the thing for you <coughs> so this order is a sell order so it will uh, this expert advisor will place a buy stop order here so in 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 the next case if our if market goes against us and that very uh, buy stop order becomes a market order like here this is just for example like like if uh, our um, buy stop order becomes a market order then this code will be called again this function and it will come inside this code and it will check the pending orders and there will be no pending orders at that time so it will place uh, the count in here the count is zero yes it is zero it will select the very last trade now it's a buy trade so it will check the order type it's buy okay yes it will place a sell stop order which it, which uh, this expert advisor really does and that was our requirement so let's go ahead and test it and i'll show you the problem with this code the problem with this code here i have tested it with um zero dollar pair and <clears throat> the problem with this code is that um it works fine in in the beginning well it it places a buy order and it places an, a sell stop order at the same time above 50 pips well it's not 50 pips but uh, it's 53 pips which you can uh, the three pips comes from the spread if you have lower spread you can uh, it will be less but let's see uh, let's um, assume that this value is correct well 50 and 53 does not matter a lot so i don't i won't be going into the code and changing it to a 50 anyways 
<coughs> when the market order uh, when this spending order becomes a market order which is here uh, it become uh, at 4 o'clock this order was placed and at 1647 uh, the market uh, goes against us and this pending order becomes a market order sell at this time this expert advisor should place a buy stop order but it does not place a buy stop order at this time where when it places a buy stop order it places at the day at the next day at a specified time which we have specified above here okay why it is doing that because we have written the condition above here that to open only at this time when this time equals when the current candles time equals the four in our case it's it's four so all this code will be executed when the time will be four okay that's why it's uh, it's placing at that time so <coughs> we can um, actually uh, tackle this problem by just uh, cutting this else uh, this else statement from here let me see this l this it this it and i think yes cutting this uh, statement from here and putting it here <coughs> but we have to write uh, the same conditions here like if uh, now here we have to write a uh, a condition different than our previous uh, previous conditions like I have to check um, if the time equals the the time uh, well that does not matter but we have to check if uh, the orders orders total is greater than one and orders total should be less than or equals to total orders if this condition satisfies we come inside and paste that else code without else and just save it compile it see if uh, we get any errors no errors go ahead in here and test it once again so now here you can see it places a buy order and a sell stop order at the same time uh, here you see uh, the lot is 0.1 uh, which was <coughs> our lots and the sell stop order uh, was placed at 4 o'clock at the same time and its lot is 0.6 because we have set our increment uh, 0 .5, 0 0.5 the increment factor we have set here is 0.5 so it placed the sell stop order then when the sell stop order becomes a market order it places a buy stop order okay and with the higher lots it increases the lot by uh, 0.5 and it does the job now what next the market is ranging and the buy stop order <coughs> becomes a market order at 14 14 and at the same time it places a sell stop order with the lots increased by 0.5 sell order becomes a market order and it places a buy stop order at the same time when it becomes the when sell stop becomes a market order with the lots increased and buy and sell and so on and here you see our our first order hits the take profit value here and all the next things um, it closed on at the stop uh, at the stop of the period because I have tested it 
from January 1st to 16th January. So <coughs> this is all for this tutorial and I hope you have learned something. You have now learned that if you go to strategy you can convert it to an expert advisor. Um, I have written all this code for you. Um, you can go through the code and understand it and practice it, improve it and use it. <coughs> and the last thing what I want to do here, I want to say to you that whenever you got a project like this, uh, like this uh, in which somebody has asked you to make certain expert advisor for you, you have um, some basic steps to follow to solve uh, to find a solution to, to that problem the first step is that uh, you go ahead and read the problem uh, understand it understand it what is asked the second step is to Mm, um, think for a solution think for a solution to that problem third step is to gather the required data to uh, solve the problem gather the required data to solve the problem number four is uh, start writing your code okay the next thing comes here that um, test and debug debug your code and the final step is to improve it if you want to so these are the six basic steps from uh, starting with a problem which is asked read the problem understand it uh, whatever the problem uh, whatever the solution you have to find it uh, you have to understand the problem first then think of for, for a solution about how you can solve it um, the third step is to gather the required data you need to solve this problem i have uh, in my case the data was these functions the buy stop the, the sell stop functions and then start writing your code after you write your code uh, test and debug your code uh, look for any errors if you have um, made some mistakes try to improve it uh, if you are uh, stuck in a problem you go ahead and try different different methods and uh, look for a different approach to solve this problem and the final step is to improve it improve it means that if you think this code does not work very well in uh, getting you some profits so what you can do here you can go ahead and find uh, make it uh, some better try uh, improve the technique which uh, which was uh, which you were asked to make an EF from and then you can improve your code and make uh, very good expert advisors so i think this is all for the tutorial i i hope you have learned something uh it took a while for me to write this code i started in the morning and it it's evening here uh i mean i was stuck in these a little a little pro there were little mistakes in here but uh, it takes lots of time to think of a solution from that um well george um it's all done for you um god bless you and take care uh see you in the next videos thank you for watching my tutorials and make sure you save it and compile it before you start using it okay uh, thank you for watching my video see you next